we're not told anything about radiation hazards. Uh, we're told that if they did not work up in Indian Point, they would be fired. The first time I was assigned to work up in Indian Point, we weren't really told anything. We had no masks, no respirators, uh, so everything that we breathed, for the most part, was contaminated. When we had come out, I was told that, well, since you have 1,700 millirecans, you can come back tomorrow, we can still give you another 300 or 500. I came back the next day. I worked five minutes. When I left there, I had picked up approximately 2,500 millirecans. Because I can remember, you went up there and you came back and I was pregnant. Is my baby, I, I remember thinking that, is my baby going to be all right? Yeah. Yeah. I had a miscarriage, however. Yeah, right, right after that. A year later, I was again sent up to Indian Point and as I was working in an area that wasn't supposed to be hot, I heard these alarms going off. I asked the guy I was working with, he told me it was some kind of gas. I believe he said Krypton gas. And he said, well, don't worry about it. He says, it's gas. He said, but by the time we get out of here, the alarms will be off and we'd only have to come back in here again anyhow. That didn't make any sense to me at all. I told him, I said, look, this is crazy. I left everything there, my shield, my handle, all my welding equipment. I walked out of the place and I hadn't been up there since.